In this video, let's go ahead and learn about the N-tier architecture. Often we have clients and these can be an iOS application or an Android app or even a web app written in React. So the N-tier architecture is divided into sections where each section is responsible to do only one and only thing. So the clients really, they are responsible to actually talk to the RESTful API layer, or often people call this as the controller layer. This layer simply takes all the requests from the clients and then it does some processing. Now to consume data from clients, we have to use the HTTP methods. So perhaps you've used these in the past, but we simply have the most common ones are get, post, put, and delete. We're gonna learn all about this in this course. So the RESTful API layer or the controller layer takes the request from the client and then it delegates that to the service layer. The service layer responsibility is simply to perform some business logic about the request that it has received. Now, when we build applications, we often have to, you know, store the requests from our clients or often we have to store some data about clients. For example, uh, you know, if this was a Facebook application, perhaps we wanted to save comments, pictures, and you know, a bunch of information about a particular user. So if we want to save information, then we have the DAO layer or the data access object layer in Java. And this in fact is a design pattern. And the DAO layer simply interacts with databases and nothing else. In the databases that you can interact, it's entirely up to you. So in your DAO layer, you can say that you want to connect to your favorite database. And this could be Postgres, MySQL, MongoDB, and you can even interact with a fake database. And to be honest, this is the entire architecture, guys. Finally, just let me give you the flow. So the client issues a request. So this could be a get, post, put, or delete. And then that request goes all the way down from the RESTful API layer to the service layer, to the DAO, and finally to the database. So this is where it actually, you know, does some processing, um, you know, whether you want to retrieve some comments about a user or a picture about a user, you know, that would go in a database. And then the database would simply give you back some response. And this response could actually be some data, pictures, or even it could be to say that your request was successfully acknowledged. For example, if you wanted to send an email, then perhaps you would like to, you know, get a, a response saying that your email was sent correctly. Then this response flows all the way back from the DAO, back to the service layer, and then from the RESTful API, and then the user finally gets to see the data. And this is the end-tier architecture, guys. In this course, we're not gonna focus on the client side. So we're not gonna be you know, building a React user interface or an Android application or even a Swift application. So we will simply focus on understanding the RESTful the service, the DAO, and then the database. And this is pretty much what you would do on an enterprise application. Now, because we're not gonna be using clients in this course, we're gonna use our RESTful client called Postman. And this guy will allow us to perform these requests as if we were using a mobile phone or a React application and essentially we can trigger get requests, put requests, post, and delete. This is all for this video, guys. If you have any questions about the N-tier architecture, 
please let me know and I'll be more than happy to give you further explanations. Join me in the next video.